Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for, for allowing me to speak on this vital resolution that pays tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. honoring Martin Luther King Jr.'s day. The holiday was originally established in 1963 as a federal holiday, marking his birthday of Dr. King, which was actually yesterday, January 15th. Martin Luther King Jr., one of our world's greatest heroes and advocates for civil rights and equality for all, would have turned 95 yesterday, has, had his life had not ended in assassination. We cannot forget the great bravery and leadership Dr. King exuded when confronting injustices and inciting nonviolent protests throughout 1950s and the 1960s as part of the civil rights movement, such as the Memphis, Tennessee, where he had traveled to lead a rally of sanitation work workers striking against poor working conditions, leading the Montgomery bus boycott, which was in response to the famous arrest of Rosa Parks, directing the Birmingham campaign, which took place in one of the most racially divided cities in America at the time and being instrumental in the March of Washington, one of the largest political rallies of human rights in history with over 250,000 participants. In 1963, Dr. King delivered the infamous I Have a Dream speech, which was responsible for fueling the civil rights movement, giving hope to many in one of those darkest times in American history. Enacted by Congress in 1994, MLK Day of Service calls to individuals to strengthen communities, bridge divides, remove barriers, and bring people of all different minds together to move us closer to Dr. King's version of a beloved community. On this designated federal holiday, honoring Martin Luther King, namesake is not only encouraging people to remember Dr. King's legacy, but to use this day to care, to care for your community, especially neighbors in need. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker. As I end this resolution with Dr. King's guiding words in the name of service, everybody can be great because everybody can serve. You only need a heart full of grace, a soul generated by love. Thank you.